now protests are playing out across the country and here in Boston after the White House announced the end of the DACA program. That program protected children of illegal immigrants from deportation. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says that program was unconstitutional. The compassionate thing to do is end the lawlessness, enforce our laws, and if Congress chooses to make changes to those laws, to do so through the process set forth by our founders. And so the future of 800,000 so-called dreamers is now uncertain. If Congress doesn't agree on a solution, those dreamers will start losing work permits on March 5th. WBZ's David Roby shows live at Faneuil Hall tonight with reaction. Roby? David, there was a rally here that broke up a little while ago, about 150 people. One of the speakers called the Trump administration's move, quote, pure political pandering and said it goes against American values. There were even stronger words from one of our U.S. senators. There is frustration and anger both here and across the country about the potential fate of DREAMers and DACA recipients. I've been here for almost 20 years, and my dream is to become a citizen. My dream is to vote. My dream is to be a part of this society. Diana is a dreamer. Her family came from Mexico when she was six. She graduated from Harvard. She says she and other DACA recipients have contributed greatly. We have master's degrees, we have bachelor's degrees, we have PhDs that will not be able to be implemented because of the lack of a nine-digit social security number. Senator Ed Markey is upset about the president's past characterizations of those who have benefited from DACA. These young people are the not, uh, not the so-called bad hombres that Donald Trump said that he was going to focus on. Felipe came from Brazil when he was 12. He is a former DACA recipient who earned his green card. He now works at the State House. He wishes others could have the same chance. Deferred action for child arrival gave me that one word, opportunity. It's all we're looking for. We can thrive given the opportunity. Attorney General Maura Healy called it a shameful decision and vowed to fight it in court on behalf of the Dreamers. Live at Faneuil Hall, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News.